Let's get your question out of the way right now. You just want to know, is this game any good? Well, let me put it this way. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is a chaotic cacophony of cool. From start to finish, top to bottom, this game is a wild rock and roll ride across the cosmos packed to the brim with personality and style. It's not a masterpiece, but it's so effortlessly confident in what it is and the story that it's telling that it stands out as one of the best games of the year. Now when it comes to the actual content of a game, I usually lead with the statement that gameplay is king, but with Guardians, I want to start with something else. It's characters. I can't remember the last time I experienced so much meaningful and well thought out dialogue and characterization in a linear level based game like this. I know open world games are overflowing with writing, but Guardians feels decidedly old school in its structure. There are no side missions to be found here, only side conversations. You're always on a path forward towards the next chapter. It's within this straightforward structure that developer Eidos Montreal crams so much writing into the mix that it's rare to go more than a few seconds without someone talking. Most of the writing feels bespoke to fit every minuscule moment of our hero's adventure, and it's like that for the game's entire 15 hour runtime. It would be one thing if it was just a lot of useless writing, but it's not. Every line and moment feels so incredibly natural, and when paired with stellar voice acting and top tier facial capture, it makes these characters feel truly alive. My favorite parts of the game involve the time you spend walking around on the Guardian ship, the Milano. While aboard, there's plenty of neat things to see, dynamic dialogue engagements to hear and participate in, and it's where the game's quiet one-on-one -on -one moments occur the most frequently. You can even change the music in the ship thanks to Star-Lord's killer playlist. The overall plot itself is a fantastic story that focuses on the grand universe in peril stakes that you come to expect from a comic book narrative, but there's as much care put into the moments of character reflection too. It's an astounding feat to behold. Another standout is in the variety of planets and levels you'll trek across. The art direction here is this year's best, and each place you visit has a distinct artistic voice and vibe. This ensures you never feel like you're just seeing the same things over and over again. There's always something new to catch your eye. Where Guardians is more paint by the numbers is in its gameplay loop. It's not bad by any means, but it's not incredibly outstanding. You control Star-Lord and Star-Lord only. That's right, no playing as Drax the Destroyer, or Rocket the Gun-Wielding Furball, or Gamora the Deadly Daughter of Thanos. Just regular, old... Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. The choice actually works to the game's benefit though. While Star-Lord's guns unfortunately feel pretty weak for most of the game, this design choice forces you to give commands to your fellow guardians who unlock abilities as the game progresses. This is when the game's combat is at its best. You can send in Gamora to do a flurry of quick attacks while Rocket throws a bomb while Groot holds all the enemies in place. This command system is executed by holding down a shoulder button and then picking a face button with each one being assigned to a particular teammate. I'm not saying it never gets old, but it does keep the fights feeling fresh longer than one would expect. There is of course plenty of Uncharted inspired moments of shimmying while some rocks break, leaping as something collapses, and sliding down many steep hills. Throughout your journey, you'll unlock a litany of new outfits, and Rocket can craft weapon upgrades for you at workbenches. Once again, this is all pretty standard stuff for an action game, and it's not the standout feature, but it gets the job done. A nice touch though is that certain missions allow you to take control of the Milano in some dynamic Star Fox inspired moments and a few bombastic open air space battles. Unfortunately, these levels are few and far between and I really wish we had more of them during the game. There's a few faults to note here that do hold the game back. Most prominently is a litany of technical hiccups from time to time. There were at least three situations where I had to reset a checkpoint because the game glitched out and there was more than one fight where music dropped out completely. It's worth noting that I played the game in performance mode on PS5, so your mileage may vary depending on your gaming setup. When it's all said and done, Guardians of the Galaxy is a treat not to be missed. Come for the spacefaring adventure, stay for the moments that pull on your heartstrings, and rock out to classic 80s hits all the way across the galaxy.